Isn't it incredible? This will be on the top of a body, so you can imagine the size of this, and there'll be two of them. <gasps> oh, I just love him. He's so cute. I've always appreciated being the man behind the throne and whispering in the ear. I think it's better if you do this, you know? Vincent has always been an innovator, and the stars that he has worked with, when they have listened to him, it has sent their careers on a new path. So he's reached the public, you know, millions and millions and millions of people in many ways, in ways that people don't even realize. Boom, boom, lift, pull. Boom, boom, lift, pull. I got a lot of books up here and they're all divided. Michael Jackson, Madonna. Well, we can start with me. In a Mel Brooks video, me and Miss Piggy. <laughs> yeah, guys. <laughs> sick. Just sick. Just sick. One of the things about Vincent is, in a way, he's a really well kept secret. And he has not ever engaged a publicist. There are some people that are, are going after the celebrity. Vincent has never cared about that. He's really always never. been about the work. Now side to side. Other people can see. Well, 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 it's... This is Selma. I, I can show you all of it. Okay. She was too early. She was too early. It looks beautiful off from the train. This is the area that I grew up in, and this was a very conservative, fairly repressed, depressed area. In eighth grade, I was voted the boy most like Jesus. I would kneel at the, at the altar railing in the church, and I would pray, dear Lord, just, just pick me up a half inch, just a half inch off the ground, because <laughs> I thought, Oh my gosh, if I was like, a miracle happened, and I was the miracle. <laughs> my most favorite review that I ever got was from the Pope when the Blonde Ambition Tour uh, played in Rome. The headline of the newspaper said, with the Blonde Ambition Tour, Satan has been re-released into the world. And I thought, oh my God, I did that? <laughs>